In this video, we'll add an additional component to our simple model. I've uncovered two more of graphic icon tools. One is a picture of, of an atom, and it represents elements, a list of elements used in the model. The other is a symbol of a water molecule, and it represents the list of components in the model. I've also uncovered a number of graphic icon tools on the left hand side and the only reason I've done this is so I can get access to the components drop down menu which we will use shortly. So first of all, Metzin tracks elemental mass flows. All components are defined by their composition in terms of elements. If I left click on the elements graphic tool, I see a, a, a dialogue with a listing of the elements that are used in this model so far. They're listed in sequence. They are hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen with atomic numbers one, seven, and eight. Similarly, if I left click on the water molecule symbol, I'll see a listing of the components currently used in the model. They are, they are listed with the phase liquid inorganic gaseous component for the last three. They are in a sequence and the abbreviated component chemical formula or name is shown. And we can see in this case that there's H2O is the abbreviated name for both the liquid inorganic and the gaseous component phases occurrences of two different components and we'll deal with that later. So as components are defined by elements we would expect first to specify the elements we will be requiring for our additional component. The third menu option from the left is comp for components. Left click for the drop down menu and the first one is component database. It has an abbreviated name DBAS which is the Metsim internal executable to generate the component database dialog. When we click on component database, we're presented with the periodic table for us to select the elements that will be required. The elements already in the model are shown and I will clear those. I'm now going to select oxygen and silicon and click on OK to see a list of the components in the default database or in the, the default database plus your user database if you have one defined. And I can see for SiO2 there are a number of components and there are four in the solid phase. These can be different according to different morphologies, uh, different sources of thermodynamic data and different temperature ranges for which the data is valid. I'm going to select quartz. When I left click, it is shown as highlighted. The next bit is confusing. When I click on OK, this dialog will be regenerated and it will appear that quartz is not selected, although it is. It looks as if we have to re repeat the process and we don't have to. So when I click OK, we will see the list again and I will then click OK the second time to select the component. So the list is regenerated. It doesn't look as if quartz is selected, but it is. I click OK again the second time and the component quartz has been added to my model. If I now look again at the list of components, I can see that my component has been added to the end of the list in sequence, solid inorganic SiO2. 
The next option under the component drop down menu is edit components. Whenever you add a new component to a model, you should check the data for the component and satisfy yourself that it is appropriate for you, your use of that component. Particularly for solids, check the specific gravity. There is no such thing as an absolute value, unique value for the specific gravity of solids. Rocks, minerals, materials can have a widely varying specific gravity and in some cases in the Metsim database there will be a value of zero and you must check and input a value if there is none or check the value that is there. Similarly, you should check all the other data as it is required for the modeling that you are doing. Our model is very simple. We're mixing sand and water and I'm satisfied with the material properties. I clicked on OK to exit the edit of the quartz component, but I'm still in edit components and I see the list. I can double click on any component or I can click on the edit of a component that's selected. I can see that the list of components is probably simply the list in the sequence that the components were added to the model. But it's good practice to sort or change the sequence of the components so that they are first of all in sequence of phase and second in sequence of least reactive or at least the least reactive of each phase should be first. So with quad selected by left click, I'm using the up arrow, move up tool to move quartz to the top of the list. The phases are now in the correct sequence, one, three, eight. I can see that nitrogen, which is the least reactive of the gaseous phases is first, so that's good. But I can see that the abbreviated names are ambiguous with respect to the phases of the H2O in water as water and water vapour, which is a gaseous phase. It is possible to edit the abbreviated name and put in a prefix such as S for solid in front of the SiO2, as this is just a name, it is not a chemical formula used in calculation. But it is better to leave the edit components menu option and then select the fifth item, which will insert phase labels on the component names for each of the components. We now see that each of the components has a prefix indicating the phase of the component. So now we're able to use the component that we've added to the model and I'm going to edit the data for stream number two. Left clicking on the edit object data and then left clicking on the number two for stream two. I'm going to add a solids mass flow of three kilograms per hour and I will expect when I press enter to see that medicine will calculate that the mass, the weight fraction of the solid phase must be one for the only component that is available for that phase. And I will select OK. I see now stream two has changed from being red, which was uh, no flow or less than threshold flow. And it is now pale gray, which indicates predominantly um, solid inorganic phase. And now when I calculate the unit operation again, I will generate the new composition for stream number three. 
which is three units of solid phase, 10 units of aqueous phase for a total of 13. Note that this solids composition is as a weight fraction, not percent solids as it is indicated. And we have the, if we click on the total um, of the phases, the average of the total of the phases for the stream, we will see the elemental composition for the stream. And we see that as weight fractions, mole fractions and mass flow units. So we've added an additional component to our simple model. We have sorted the components um, according to phase and making sure that the least reactive of each phase is the first of the phase and we have added the phase abbreviation letter in front of each component. Thank you.